Hi. Hi. Today we have, if you're following us chronologically, today we have a first problem in, in a new coding system, which is CPT. Right? And uh, we're going to do a, li a little theory introduction, but if you're already more or less familiar, this is like a review only for, for those who understand a little bit of what CPT is, it's just a review. And the book that we're using for doing this is this book. Can you point to this? Let's go get a good shot. And then we have coded this book, RVA, right? So, the, the coding system is CPT. JJ is the name of our company, and RVA is the book that I just showed you. And this is the page number from that book, 245, if you can see it here. 245 is right here. And the exercise that we're doing is 04. 04 would be right here. 04. Okay, now, this um, part of the CPT is evaluation and management. And what's evaluation and management? Let me just read you from the guiding lines, just the first sentence, you don't understand what it is. It says right here, the um, evaluation and management, which they call E forward slash M, EM section, is divided into broad categories such as office visits, hospital visits, and consultations. Which means that this section deals with whether the patient has gone to the office, to the doctor's office, to the hospital, and what was done when the patient visited. If it's a new patient, if it's established patient, all that stuff, right? So the problem that we have, let me read it for you before I, I take the camera. Let me just read the problem. The problem that we have is this one. The physician, right, provided services to a new patient who was in a rest home for an ulcerative sore on the hip. Now remember that we are just trying to do E and M coding, which means that we're trying to see what kind of visit was this. A problem focus history and physical examination were performed and a straightforward medical decision was made. That is our problem. Now I'm gonna hold the camera and Stephanie is going to guide you how, how to find the code. Ready? Okay, let's start with reading the problem again, and we're going to underline the key words that we need to find the path. The physician provided services to a new patient who was in a rest home. So new patient is the type of patient that we have, that's a keyword, and who was in a rest home is another keyword because it tells us the condition that the patient was, right? So the path that we have using just those two keywords is, what is the path? You go to, can you point there? You go to... Go to the index, and then you go to rest home visit. Why? Because it says right here, rest home, right? So you go to rest home visit. And from there, it sends you to see domiciliary services. So you go to domiciliary services. And you choose from there, you choose new patient. Why? Because it says here, right? New patient. And now they're going to give you a set of codes, a range of codes. 99324 through 99328. And then you have to choose which one of these codes applies to the present case right here. Okay? So we're going to do that with the book. Can you show the book that we're using uh, to our viewers? The, the cover first, real quick. This is the book that we're using. It's a, it's a little out, outdated because it's 2011, but it's still valuable. So let's go to the index first, right? Right. Let's follow the path. The index first, which is in the back of the book, is contrary to the ICD-10. This one is in the back. But we go to the index. And let me remind you what, what we're doing. They were doing this path. We go to the index and then we're going to look for rest home visit there. You ready? You there? Uh, 
Here we go. Rest home visit, right there. It's in the R, it's, it's alphabetically, so it's in the R, rest home visit. And it says, see domiciliary services, right? So what do we do? We go to domicili domiciliary services. And that would be on the D, right? Right. And what is it? Here we go. Let me see, domiciliary service on the D, right here. And from there, we go where? From there, we go to new patient. We have all these choices, assisted living, discharge services, established patient, and new patient. And since our text says new patient, we go to new patient, right? Right. So our, they give us a range of codes, 99.324 through 99.328. So our code is one of those, from 24 to 28, right? So we're going to write down here the first step of our path. This is our range of codes. Now we're going to find out which one of these are, right? Which one is the right code? So we're going to go to the tabular for those numbers, right? Right. And... Where does it start? It starts here, 99.324, and it goes to the next column all the way down, and it goes here. There are five codes, right? Right. Okay. Now, how do we choose which one? By three criteria. I made here a little table, right? And then I'm going to explain to you. The, the code is 99324993 so the, the characters that are, that are the same for all of them is 9932. The character that changes is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is the last one. And now there are three criteria for which one to choose the right one. There's a history, there's examination, and there is decision making. According to this, uh, you are going to find the right code. Okay, so we examine all of them. We're going to start with history, the first row, and they have to have a check mark. C can you come here to the, to the whiteboard and check mark according to what we're going to find here? Okay, for new patient from four, right? It's right here. History says a problem focus history, right? And in our problem, it says, a problem focus history. So number four is check it as yes. Right? So number four would be check yes. It's a problem focus history. Now number five here, it says an expanded problems focus history. Do we have that in our definition? No, it just says problem focus history. So for number five, it's X. We don't have that. Number six is the same thing. It says, number six is, where's number six? Right here. A detailed history. Is that a problem focus history? No. So check X for number six. Number seven. We have a comprehensive history. Here it is. Comprehensive history. We have that. No, a problems focus history. So it's X. And the last one is eight, which is a comprehensive history. We have a problem focus history. So do we have that? No. Okay. Now, if we analyze all the rows, the only one valid is the number four. All the other ones don't, don't, are not valid because they say something different of the problem that we have. Now, we could go examining the examination and the decision making, but there's no need because there's only one that, that has the check mark and we have to have the three check marks. So it has to be the first one. So our answer would be, can you write it at the bottom? That 9932. 9932. Four, because four has the check mark. That is our answer to the problem. Okay, and we finish this video. 
with a limitation again to visit our website and to send us any comments or, or constructive criticism, uh, anything that would help us to make it better.